up my lovelies welcome back to my channel my name is pinky teaching you witchcraft and doing tarot is what i do for those of you guys new welcome my lovelies don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up we have tons of spell videos going up for new years to kick off the new year as well as tons of readings for what you can expect uh, definitely stay tuned for January readings, which is the predictions for 2023. If you guys are interested in personal consultations, spell work, or anything of any of the services that we provide, definitely check the description box below. You'll be able to find our online store there and um, pretty much get ready for the new year. All right, my lovelies, let's get into the love reading for all the zodiac signs, what you can expect for the remainder of December 2022. Also, quick note, uh, for those of you guys that are following our Instagram, our TikTok, we are currently every day uploading new videos uh, as well as uh, tips and tricks. So you guys can definitely follow us on there as well. All right, my lovelies, let's get into it. Hope you guys are excited and getting ready for Christmas. <clears throat> Capricorn season around the corner. For you Saggies out there, happy birthday. For you Capricorns out there, get ready. <laughs> Your season is about to begin. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what we can expect in love. We're going to start off here with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to look into their new love. Let's see. Give me the card that represents how they see, uh, how they see Aries, how they see Aries here. All right, here we go. And how do they feel about Aries and the future actions towards Aries? All right, Aries. So we have the nine of pentacles. This is indicative of the person that you may be dealing with or the person that you're currently interested in definitely sees you as a person of substance. They see you as someone that does not need uh, any help or does not need them, really. Um, this is the self-independent card for me. With the five of wands, there may be a bit of intimidation because they know your worth, because they know that you are a person that um, may be getting a lot of attention, perhaps for some of you guys. Uh, they've been aware or they know some of the people that are crushing on you right now, as I do see competitiveness here. Um, and it's more of, I think that's what really intrigues them or that's really what makes them want to pursue you, Aries, because you do have the magician right next to it, which indicates to me, yes, I am aware that Aries is wanted or that they do have um, options, but I'm going to be the best option. So I see them very focused in trying to uh, really get your attention or really understand that they are serious about you, that they're not playing games, that they are showing up and they're ready to win or they're ready to sweep you off your feet. Now, for those of you guys that are single, there is definitely a person around you, someone that could be around your inner circle, someone that could be within the circle of your friends that definitely has an eye on you. And I feel like they will be revealing their intentions or feelings for you. Uh, sometime the end of December. So there is some type of manifestation that's happening here. I feel like they themselves may be manifesting. You are manifesting an opportunity to actually connect or to actually have a conversation, um, especially those of you guys that if you've noticed someone that's been eyeballing you or someone that is around your friend circle or family circle as well, and you've noticed like, hmm, they're kind of giving me uh, attention or they're giving me that look. Am I overthinking or overanalyzing? Absolutely not Aries. I do see them interested in you. And like I said, I do see them opening up or being blunt uh, by the end of December, uh, giving some type of basically green light that they themselves are definitely interested in you. So they will be making it very clear for you guys. All right. All right. Now let's go to old flame let's see what's going on with aries sun moon rising old flame how do they feel about aries how do they feel about aries <clears throat> why do they feel this way about aries why do they feel this way about aries 
and the future actions towards Aries. Future actions towards Aries. All right, Aries. So I definitely see them really wanting to open communication. <clears throat> if you haven't been in communication with them or they haven't reached out to you yet, do not be surprised. They will be uh, communicating or opening communication sometime within the next seven days as I do see them really reaching out and basically overcoming their ego or overcoming whatever has been holding them back, whatever, because I feel like they've been trying to open communication with you. For some of you guys, it could be like uh, having calls where no one's answering on the other end of the phone. It's definitely them, but I feel that, uh, like I said, within the next seven days, uh, communication may open up. They grow some type of strength, uh, some type of putting away the ego and being completely honest or communicating exactly what it is that they want. And basically what they want, Aries, is for you to give them another opportunity. Six of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands, uh, it's definitely putting pride aside and coming to the realization, I really want Aries and I'd rather have them in my life. So there is, for some of you guys, especially if it was um, a situation where you guys are no longer in communication. I feel like they're realizing that they'd rather have you in their life, even as a friend, if anything, than not have you at all. So that communication may come up for you guys. Um, very surprisingly, I feel like uh, this was a person that was uh, perhaps used to uh, you being the one to chase or you being the one to uh, open communication. And since you haven't, I definitely see them um, budging. I see them uh, coming around and saying, you know what? I'm going to do what I have to do to make myself prominent in Aries' life because uh, I want another shot, another opportunity. So I see that unfolding for you guys in the next, or, or by the end of this month, actually. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now let's go to Taurus. Let's see what's going on with Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We're going to look into new love. How do they see Taurus? How do they see Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see Taurus? All right. And how do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? And future actions towards Taurus, future actions towards Taurus. All right. So Taurus, I feel like <laughs> for some of you guys, there's a feeling of like you've hit a, uh, moment of stagnation you don't really see this moving forward i feel like for some of you guys it could have felt like things were uh moving rather quickly and then all of a sudden like they've either pulled away or they disassociated from the connection there is a feeling of um just not really being fulfilled right now so for some of you guys if you're feeling like uh the person you were dealing with has pulled away um and if you're wondering, like, is it all in my head? Am I creating these scenarios? No, I absolutely do see them uh, taking action towards pulling away. They are, like I said, a bit of, I feel them, I feel them like disconnected right now. Um, could be that they have other things going on in their life, but I don't really see them taking any action by the end of this month. So my advice is um, really focus on what's going good in your life right now, Taurus, um, only because I feel like if you sit there and wait for them to make contact or to communicate with you, you'd be wasting your time. Um, something happened uh, in this transition with them um, where they came to the feeling that maybe things were moving too quickly or perhaps they felt a bit smothered and they started to, like I said, disassociate. They started to pull away, disconnect from the connection but this was purposely done. So again, don't sit there and wait for them. Now for others of you, Taurus that are singles, what they're showing me here is there's been a bit of lack of opportunities when we're talking about love and romance. And this has a lot to do with feeling a bit unhappy or feeling, <coughs> excuse me, feeling a bit like Things are not going your way when we're talking about love and romance, and there's a bit of frustration here. Um, what they're telling you here is if it's kind of like keeping in mind or understanding that the love of your life is not going to come knocking on your door. 
Um, you have to embrace spontaneity. Uh, it's necessary. Uh, stop choosing to be alone, Taurus. Stop choosing uh, to not spice up your life. Um, because I feel like Four of Cups with the Eight of Swords, it's more on the mental plane. So if you want changes, start making changes to your life. Start putting yourself out there. Stop sitting at home. Um, you know, be more proactive in spicing your love life. It's necessary at this point. All right. Now let's go to Old Love, Old Flame for Taurus. Let's see. How do they feel? How do they feel about Taurus? How do they feel about Taurus? Why do they feel that way? Why do they feel this way about Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <clears throat> future actions, future actions, future actions for Taurus. All right. <clears throat> okay, Taurus, they are definitely regretting. They are definitely understanding that you were the best thing that could have happened to them. It's kind of like they fumbled the freaking ball and they understand that now. Uh, Five of Cups is feeling remorseful, feeling regret feeling like things could have been very different uh had they not walked away or given up or had they tried harder uh with the wheel of fortune i feel like they're looking at you either doing good or moving on or really like they what's coming to what's coming to mind taurus is they underestimated you uh there was something within you that they seen um, as naive or innocent, uh, maybe they assumed you would always be there or you would always take them back. Um, and their luck completely changed the moment that you closed the door or walked away. Um, and with the wheel of fortune right at the center, it's like, this was the person for me, or I understand this was the better person for me. And there's regret there. I do see like there is, especially for those of you guys that have children with an ex-partner, I feel like they are being more like trying to accommodate you or being thoughtful with the children. But I feel that that's a way of them trying to get in your good graces, Taurus, or uh, kind of trying to revisit or seeing if you're open to revisiting the past. Um, so my advice is, you know, if this was a situation that you've completely closed the door on, um, don't fall for it. <laughs> Walk away from that. Um, you don't want to embrace or look to the past. You want to embrace the new beginnings. Um, for others of you, I do feel like there is a feeling of they're not understood or they're not being appreciated where they're at. And there is a desire to want to go to what is comfortable for them or what was um better for them which obviously was you so it's not necessarily the understanding of i fucked up and let me make it up to you taurus no i see it more like it's not what i wanted and now i want to go back to taurus so again do not embrace anything that has to do with the past uh, even if children are involved sometimes understanding um that the best thing you can do for your children is walk away from connections that are toxic or that are not uh, worth it. Because I know that a lot of the times people, you know, excuse, you know, because of the child or because of the children, let's work it out. And in reality, you're making more damage to the kids because they're growing up thinking that it's okay to be in an unloving relationship or in a toxic environment. And it's not. So, <clears throat> like I said, do not embrace anything that is from the past. You guys, sorry if I'm coughing. <clears throat> I've been working very, very long hours. It's been extremely busy. As you guys know, uh, the end of the year is always the busiest for us. Everybody wants to get consultations, spell work done, and I am over exhausted. Um, <clears throat> and I talk a lot, obviously, in consultations. So my, <clears throat> my throat is really feeling it. Anyways. Let's move on now with Gemini. Let's see what's going on with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, New Love. How do they see Gemini? How do they see Gemini? How do they see Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? 
and future actions towards Gemini. Future actions towards Gemini. All right, so what I'm getting off the bat is there's a lot of miscommunication happening right now for you guys, um, Gemini. It's almost like they're so scared to make the wrong move or to over text you or to over call you. They're not wanting to overdo it because they don't want to mess this up. But I feel like for some of you guys, the stress or the worry that they're not really putting effort is coming off as they don't care. And it's kind for some of you guys, it could be that it's freaking you out or you're very much in your head about what's going on and you're trying to figure it out. It's pretty simple. What they're saying here is both of you guys are too much in your head and you guys are too scared to open up or to be honest with each other. Like to be honest to the point of what you expect from a relationship or the connection and vice versa. So I see it as two people being very much in their head, not trying to mess it up. Um, and instead of taking action, you guys are just in your head about it. So things are not moving because you guys are stuck thinking or overanalyzing what's happening. Um, so it's miscommunication. My advice is open up communication. I do see it happening at the end of the month, <coughs> better communication or being straightforward, but I feel like it's been progressively happening where for some of you guys, it's, <coughs> excuse me. For some of you guys, you've been thinking or wondering if you should just walk away from it. Um, and to be honest, like I said, I feel like it has more to do with both of you guys being in your head and you're so frozen because you don't know what to do that you're just letting time pass by without really taking action. Um, but I do see them taking action towards the end of the month, uh, opening communication or being completely honest uh, and blunt about what's going on. All right. <clears throat> now let's look into the old flame of Gemini, see what's going on there. Old flame, Gemini, how they feel about Gemini. How do they feel about Gemini? <clears throat> Why do they feel this way about Gemini? Why do they feel this way about Gemini? And future actions, future actions towards Gemini. <clears throat> All right, so what I'm seeing here is they've moved on, Gemini. I feel like for some of you guys, um, if you're still holding on, to, <coughs> excuse me, if you're still holding on to hope or desire that things can change or that they can come back around and really try to put effort. I don't see that happening. And what they're showing me here is it's time to embrace this ending. Um, why? Because I feel like in trying to hold on to this, it's really putting, it's putting other people to see you in a very different way. And it's like, you don't want people to think that you don't want people to think that you're still holding on to the ex when the ex is moving on or when they're doing their own thing already. Um, because it's almost like I'm seeing other people like kind of pointing the finger or thinking, you know, damn, Gemini's still over here waiting for, you know, the person to come back. And that person is making it very public that they're moving on or that they're doing their own thing. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that they misled you, that they could have made it seem like they wanted to reconcile. Um, but <clears throat> at this point, you need to fully embrace the ending and detach yourself from the situation. You have to start creating boundaries, um, Gemini, more so because I feel like if you've thought in the past that you've held on, um, because you were prideful, you didn't want to accept that it just didn't work out. Um, at this point, you need to be prideful about per putting yourself first. Um, because I feel like it's necessary. I feel like you need to start looking out for yourself and stop worrying about the ex or stop worrying about what they're doing. Um, in the aspect of concern or worry for them. Um, you got to learn to think and make yourself a priority again, Gemini. 
that is crucial and very important. Um, I do see them, you know, trying to still maintain communication or come back around. But I feel for them, it's more of an ego thing. It's more of them proving that they can get you back or that they can get you whenever they want. And you're not an option for anyone. So remove yourself from the equation and see how quick they realize they underestimated you. All right, Gemini. <coughs> you guys give me one second. Let me get a... Okay, you guys, sorry. I had to get a mint gum <clears throat> so that I can be able to stop coughing. It's annoying. All right, let's move on now with Cancers. Let's see what's going on with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's look into their new love. How do they see Cancer? How do they feel about cancer? Oh. Future actions towards cancer. All right. All right, cancer. They're definitely seeing you as the star. Uh, you're illuminated. You are beautiful. You are smart. Um, they're definitely really putting or trying to put effort in <laughs> and I'm getting this um, for some of you guys. Uh, it may seem like they've been acting a bit odd um, or like a little bit out of character. And the reason for it is because they're trying to make themselves seem like cool or seem like they have a lot of things going on in their life. Um, because <laughs> when I looked at the page of wands with the temperance, it almost it's like they're they don't they're scared that you're going to see them as boring um and they're trying to keep your attention towards them so um if they're seeming like being a little bit weird or a little bit odd it's only because they're trying to make it seem like their life is more exciting than what it really is but the reason for it is because this is a person that really wants you uh to be interested in them they really want you to like them so um, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an Aquarius or a Sagittarian energy or fire energy. Um, however, I do see them really trying to put effort. It's like they're trying to, they're really trying to um, up their image or reinvent themselves so that you can like them. Um, and it's not ungenuine energy. It just feels funny. Like, uh, childlike type of energy like a person that's just doing what they have to do to make sure that you like them all right that was funny okay now let's look into the old flame of cancer sun moon rising venus how do they feel about cancer how do they feel about cancer how do they feel about cancer Why do they feel this way? Why do they feel this way for cancer? Future actions. All right, cancer. For some of you guys, it could be that your ex knows you're in a relationship or in a partnership. There is this, I feel like it's the energy of I'm suffering. My life is so difficult. It's like it's everyone's fault that I can be a better boyfriend or a better girlfriend to you type of scenario. It's like the victim mentality the the person that blames the whole world, um, but doesn't really take self responsibility. And there is a bit of jealousy here that's being experienced. But I feel like I like I said, if they're aware that you're moving on or that you're starting relationships or partnerships, there is this feeling of um, 
there's this feeling of I wouldn't necessarily say like jealousy, but for some it could be jealousy, like envy, like, you know, look at cancer, they're moving on. And here I am stuck not being able to move on or not being able to uh, do what I thought I would be doing. It's almost like the scenario of seeing that it's not always greener on the other side. Um, so I don't see them taking any type of action or any type of self-responsibility to be completely honest, Cancer. So close the door on this. <clears throat> All right, now let's go to Leo. Let's see what's going on with Leo. New love. How do they see Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they feel about Leo? And future actions. Future actions. Okay. They're seeing you as a difficult person to read, Leo. It's almost like frustrating is what I'm feeling. Like it's frustrating to uh, accommodate Leo. It's frustrating to keep you happy. Um, for some of you guys, it could be that you're just still in the first getting to learn this person stages uh, or stage um, where you're a bit more reserved and you're not as open, but I feel like they're being frustrated because of that. However, they do see that they are definitely interested in you and there is a desire there to solidify or to uh, strengthen this connection. I see a little bit of progress by the end of December where they're opening up for some of you guys. I'm not going to lie, especially those of you guys that are single. I feel like there's been a person around you that's been interested in you. You've known about it or you felt it, but they haven't really vocalized that they're interested in you. I see that um, happening for you by the end of December. It's like they are making the decision that they want something with you and they're not going to shy away from it anymore. And I finally see them either speaking up or professing their feelings for you um, sometime from now to the end of December. <coughs> All right, now let's look into the old flame of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see, how do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? Why do they feel this way about Leo? Why do they feel this way about Leo? And future actions. Future actions for Leo. <clears throat> okay. Wow, powerful energy here. All right, Leo. So in regards to how do they feel about you, I feel like this person has moved on or is in the process of moving on. I feel like for some time, uh, they were almost obsessive about the reconciliation or the wanting to reconnect with you. Um, but this was more of a toxic type of energy or toxic type of relationship that you were able to disassociate or disconnect from and be able to open a new pathway for you. Um, now, in regards to them, um, I do see that there is a desire of wanting to manifest you. And I'm not going to lie. Um, for some of you guys, this could be almost like the ex trying to get you back with some type of candle work, some type of candle magic. <clears throat> I am curious. So give me clarity with the devil and the magician. Give me clarity with the devil and magician. What is the outcome here? All right, so <clears throat> what they're showing me here is for some of you guys, um, especially if you've been moved on from your ex and don't really want them back or haven't really thought about them in a while, if all of a sudden they're popping up in your head, you're dreaming about them, I would highly encourage you to do a return to sender or to do a banishing ritual that is going to help you disconnect energetically from the ex. Why? Because I see them really wanting to draw you back. And with the devil and magician, 
uh, the clarifications is the sun and the empress, the desire to reconcile, the desire to manifest this rela this relationship. Um, now, if this was you, Leo, that did this, um, yeah, you're going to be successful at it. Uh, so, <coughs> like I said, if you've been thinking about the ex lately, they've been popping in your head, uh, do a return to sender ASAP. Um, you don't want people to be fucking with your energy. Um, however, if this is you wanting to manifest or bring that person back, you're definitely, you're going to see the results of that or you're going to see the reconciliation. So there you go. All right. I was definitely not expecting that in a reading, a general reading. All right. Let's move on. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's look into new love. How do they see Virgo? How do they see Virgo? If you guys like these readings, definitely like, comment, share. So you guys can help the algorithm. How do they feel? How do they feel about Virgo? How do they feel about Virgo? Big Daddy Energy right here. Future actions for Virgo. Future actions for Virgo. Okay. So this is a very definitely intense person. This is a person that is really desiring and hoping to manifest something long-term with you. Uh, they see you as a person that is very self-made or a person that is very independent. Uh, they respect and even admire that about you. Uh, that desire to want to expand or want to grow or solidify this connection. And with the Queen of Wands here, it is definitely talking about a person that is very uh, physically attracted to you. This is a person, there is a lot of sexual energy definitely uh, here. But if we can, as we can see here, we have one, two staffs, and then the third one that the Queen is holding. So there is a desire to, um, like I said, solidify or go towards the Four of Wands. So beautiful energy there Virgo for those of you guys that are single do not be surprised if in the next coming three weeks there is a connection with a person that comes into your life where there is a lot of physical connection sexual energy chemistry off the charts all right let's look into the old flame of Virgo how do they feel about Virgo how do they feel about Virgo <clears throat> Why do they feel this way about Virgo? And future actions. Future actions. Okay. So there is definitely a desire to reconcile with you, Virgo. I feel like for some of you guys, it's like the moment that you removed yourself from this connection or the moment that you were learning to put yourself first i feel like something changed um in regards to how they see you and it's almost like a feeling of i want to revisit the past or if i can make it up to virgo um you know for some of you guys it could be that they've been dealing with a bit of karma um and they've come to the understanding that it was always you or that it was always or i should say that they were foolish to jeopardize the connection with you. There is a decision that is being made by the end of December, which I see them uh, really focusing or honing in the wanting to prove to you their worthiness. So uh, for some of you guys, it is like you go from closing the door on a cheater to completely seeing a different person. Like they're ready to commit. They're ready to take it to the next level. Like there is something that is changing within them uh, and they are definitely backing up. It's not just words. They're backing it up with action. So the ball is in your court, Virgo. All right, my lovelies. Now let's go to oh, Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra. New love. How do they see Libra? How do they see Libra? <clears throat> How do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra? And future actions towards Libra. Future actions towards Libra. 
Ooh, very interesting here. Okay, Libra. So what they're showing me here is for a lot of you guys, you've been on this journey of finding yourself and doing the things that motivate you and that you're passionate about. And through this process, are you able or will you be able to draw in the person that is right for you? So what they're showing me here is, like I said, going on this journey of working on yourself and then boom, this person shows up. For some of you guys, you may already be dealing with a person um, that really has your attention or really has you fixated on them. They are most definitely fixated on you. There is a desire of connecting or going a little bit deeper. For some of you guys, it could have been something that was temporary or something that was casual that starts to little by little begin to turn into something more serious. Um, but I feel like there's still parts of that person and within yourself that you haven't allowed yourself to be around this person. And I see the deepening of this connection um, throughout this month. So I definitely do see closeness. I do see, um, like I said, opening up, being able to uh, be more transparent with each other. Um, and for those of you guys that are single, I feel like you're not going to be single for too long. Uh, really focus on yourself, uh, Libra, because I feel that through working on yourself and making yourself a priority, <coughs> excuse me, a priority is through where this new energy comes through. It's almost like it is a mirror energy of the love that you have for yourself that the universe will echo back. A person that fully sees you, that fully respects you, that loves you, that accepts you. Um, but you have to learn how to do that for yourself first, okay? I feel like you guys are already there though. All right, now let's look, well, now let's look into Libra, Old Flame. How do they feel about Libra? How do they feel about Libra, Old Flame? Why do they feel this way about Libra? Why do they feel this way about Libra? Future actions. Future actions. All right. <coughs> so what I'm seeing here is definitely the, you know, the fuck up of the century. I feel like for some of you guys, there is the still dealing with the chaos or the destruction of what this breakup or this separation, what it brought. Um, I feel like some of you guys are still, you know, fixing the pieces or picking up the pieces of uh, this difficulty. For some of you guys, it could have been a divorce. For others of you, um, it could have been a breakup that happened very suddenly and unexpected. It was almost like the universe threw you a complete curveball. Um, but there is definitely a feeling of regret. There is a feeling of, like I said, the fuck up of the century. And they know that. Um, and I do see them trying to come back around. But I feel like at this point, you've drawn the land, the land, you've drawn the, the line in the sand. Um, and like I said, with the tower, this is just the universe telling you move the fuck on. Like you could do so much better, Libra. Um, it is time that you understand what boundaries are and that you don't allow people to take advantage of you or to fumble the ball or to, you know, mess up. Uh, don't allow them to keep coming back. At this point, it, it's it's been broken or it's been destroyed for a reason so that you can be able to, you know, once the dust settles so that you can be able to see <coughs> Things from a clearer perspective and understand that you deserve so much better than that. All right, my lovelies. Okay. Now let's go to Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio here. New love. How do they see Scorpio? How do they see Scorpio? <coughs> How do they see Scorpio? You guys, sorry, I keep coughing. <clears throat> How do they feel? How do they feel about Scorpio? And future actions. 
with your actions. All right, Scorpio. They see you a bit guarded. They see you a bit um, not completely excited about this connection. For some of you guys, it could just be that you are, I mean, it is your natural instinct, right? To protect yourself and protect your heart. Um, but I feel like this person needs, or I feel like you need for me to remind you that this person didn't hurt you in the past, that they are not your ex, not the person from the past, um, that you must treat them from the point in time where you meet them in your life. Um, so with more clarity on that, understanding that you don't have to test them, you don't have to make them jump through hoops, Scorpio, because this is not your ex. Um, once you understand that, you'll be able to fully embrace and go into this connection, being a little bit more authentic, um, giving them the opportunity that you're able to give yourself as well, that you deserve to be happy and you deserve um, to be given a fair shot. I don't know why I feel like this person feels like they have to compete. Um, so if you have the habit of talking about your ex or bringing up your ex, it's time you stop fucking doing that. Because I feel like instead of proving a point, what you're doing is you're kind of making them feel uncomfortable at this point. Um, and no one wants to hear about the ex. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that that is a major red flag. Um, because it just speaks that you, it speaks to you not fully have been moved on. And if you're not fully moved on, then what are you doing, you know, dating? Because you're going to continuously keep comparing. Um and no one likes to be compared. So again, give them a fair shot because by giving them a fair shot, you're also giving yourself a fair shot. Um, you don't want to miss out on a good opportunity. Uh, Queen of Wands here is definitely uh, taking action and moving forward. I feel like they're, they, might, they might have been iffy, especially if you are uh, bringing up a lot about the past or about your exes. Um, not necessarily them being intimidated, but it had more to do with just being annoyed. Um, but I feel like they're able to overcome that or see past that. And they're really taking action towards the end of December um, to show you that they're not playing around when it comes to you because they're definitely interested. All right. Now let's go to, <coughs> excuse me, Old Flame. Oh. Old Flame for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How do they feel? How do they feel about Scorpio? How do they feel about Scorpio? Why do they feel that way? Why do they feel that way about Scorpio? And future actions towards Scorpio. I don't see them making any type of movement, Scorpio. Uh, I don't see them trying to reach out or anything like that. However, I do see them like really looking at you from a distance. I feel like they have a very watchful eye on you. This could be that they're watching you through social media, uh, through Instagram, Snapchat, um, <coughs> Facebook, anything like that. Um, they're very curious about how you're doing in life after them, uh, which to me speaks about a bit a bit of a narcissist, a uh, person that thought maybe you were going to not bloom without them. And I feel like you've been doing great. Keep doing great, Scorpio. But they definitely have a watchful eye on you. They're definitely watching you. Um, and for some of you guys, they are even creating fake accounts, to, especially for those of you guys that have your accounts private. Um, do not be surprised if people that, like random people start to try to add you. They're just trying to keep tabs on you it's giving me creeper vibes it's not really like um them taking action or wanting to come back around they're just being nosy to be honest creeper all right now let's move on to sagittarius let's see what's going on with sagittarius new love 
How do they see Sagittarius? New love. How do they see Sagittarius? How do they feel about Sagittarius? How do they feel about Sagittarius? Oh. And future actions. Future actions towards Sag. Okay. They are, they're definitely seeing you as a person that is very, like, no holds barred when it comes to communicating or when it comes to expressing. This could be a bit intimidating for them. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you come off extremely blunt. Um, and though maybe, maybe this is something that you've always pride yourself in, or maybe this is something that people have really admired or even liked this about you. I feel like this person is a bit defensive around that, um, because I feel like, I feel like this is a person that is wise. For some of you guys, you may be dating older. Um, but this is a person that has been there, done that. And I feel like they're not really about the hype. They're not really about, you know, um, this is a person that can really see through people's insecurities. I'm not going to lie. And I feel like your boldness or your loudness or your, um, I feel like they can see past that and they see you as a person that still needs to master your emotions. Um, I feel like this is not going to connect with everyone. But what I am hearing is just be yourself around them because I feel like this person is very grounded and it is a person that definitely has worked really hard towards achieving or having what they have through hard work. Um, this is a person that definitely admires honesty. But there's a, there's a difference between honesty and crassness or rudeness. Um, and I feel like that may be something of a turnoff for them. Um, <clears throat> not to say that you need to change your personality or change who you are, Sagittarius. Um, but try to be a little bit more subtle. You don't always have to be bold. You don't always have to be lashing out <coughs> or expressing uh in a way of, okay, so what I'm getting is as an example, if they hurt your feelings, like you will make it a point to get that across, almost like passive aggressiveness, and they can see past that, like not past that, they can see through that. Um, and it's a turnoff for them because they feel like you're not emotionally mature enough to actually communicate. I hope that makes sense. Um, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. However, I feel like there is a bit of a disconnection between your energy and their energy, especially those of you guys that are dealing with a much a more older person. Um, doesn't have to be major difference, major age difference. I just feel like they are seasoned um, and they're, <coughs> they're not really into playing games. Uh, so <coughs> excuse me, you guys, I keep coughing. <coughs> Give me a second. Okay, I'm back, you guys. I was choking there for a minute. Yeah, so what I'm being told here is if you feel like this is a person worth your while, um, try the best you can to express and communicate before you get to the point of being very upset uh, because then you just come off as rude to make it easy uh, and shorter. All right, now let's go to Old Flame. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius there. How do they feel about Sagittarius? Old flame. 
Why do they feel that way? Why do they feel that way about Sagittarius? And future actions. Future actions. Future actions for Sagittarius. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm seeing here is there is something that they that you have been consistent with them about um, Sagittarius where it's almost like for some of you guys, it could have been the conversation of taking it to the next level or to committing or solidifying the connection and relationship. And this was a person that was very inconsistent. This was a person that really wasn't looking for anything serious. And I feel like now they're being able to see it um, in a way of like, I should have put my fears aside and given Sagittarius like the commitment or the taking it to the next level relationship that they wanted uh, because maybe it would have turned out to be fine. So there is a reminiscing, there is a revisiting of the past or a desire to want to revisit the past. If you haven't heard from your ex, do not be surprised if sometime in the next coming weeks there is communication here that opens up because for some of you guys, it could be that the ex is really in their feelings, uh, you know, the holidays, the traditions, everything is um, around this season and they get really in their feelings about stuff, right? Um, so I feel like they're being impulsive and reaching out, but it's only because they're reminiscing. It's not necessarily because they've changed and they actually want to give it a go. I feel like it has more to do with just reconnecting with you and let's talk about how it was when we were together type of thing. Uh, not that they actually outgrew uh, some of their immaturity. All right, my lovelies. All right, now let's go to Capricorn. New love for Capricorn. How do they see them? How do they see Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? Future actions. Future actions. Interesting. So what I'm seeing here is I feel like for some of you Capricorns, either you found out that this person was double dealing, uh, meaning that they were dating multiple people, or you could have came across some type of information that this person wasn't being completely honest with you. And what they're showing me here is don't despair or don't get agitated or annoyed um, or almost like the feeling of here we go again. Why can't I get it right? Because I feel like right now what Spirit is saying is they're revealing this to you so that you don't waste your time. It's like they're doing you a favor because they don't want you to waste your time anymore. They want to guide you towards the right person that's for you. And with that, it's almost like I'm going to reveal to you people's true intentions and motives so that you stop wasting your time and really focus on the people that you're not really seeing. They're there and they're around you, but you just don't pay attention. <laughs> so again, it's almost like a reminder that from here on out, Capricorn, you're dating with purpose and if the people around you that you keep choosing are wrong for you, they're quickly going to be revealing who they are so that you can make the rational decision to walk away and stop wasting your time. So my dear Capricorn, if you were dealing with someone and that shit fell off right quick, count your blessings. You, you know, <clears throat> You dodged a ball and count your blessings because your guides are just protecting you. At this point, they don't want you to be wasting your time anymore. All right, let's look into the old flame of Capricorn. How do they feel about Capricorn? How do they feel about Capricorn? 
old flame. How do they feel about Capricorn? Why do they feel this way about Capricorn? Do they feel this way about Capricorn? Future actions. Future actions towards Capricorn. All right, so they definitely see you moving on. They see you uh, really moved on from them. Um, and the reason why they're aware of this is because they are definitely stalking you on social media. They're watching your every move or what you're posting. Um, you know, this is giving me the energy of the previous new love type of energy where this could have been a person that you were kind of settling for and they decided to entertain other opportunities um where now it's like they're they never thought you would cut them out um or that you would move on so there is a feeling of imbalance because they weren't expecting you to quickly move on or uh to quickly not necessarily quickly but it's like for some of you guys, they could have been like telling them, you know, this is it or you mess up one more time and I'm done. I'm not wasting my time. And they didn't really think that that would happen. And then boom, it happened. So now it's like they are trying to process that you were putting yourself first or that you were choosing yourself and walking away from something that is not working or something that is toxic. And again, there is this theme happening where I feel like your guys are telling you, Capricorn, at this point in your life, stop wasting your time. Stop giving opportunities to people that are not appreciating or people that are unworthy of you. And though you may hesitate or uh, feel a bit restricted or feel a bit stressed because things are not working out, the positive in that is that you're not wasting time with people that would just have wasted your time. Um, like I said, it's a recurring thing that's happening right now with Capricorns. It's like you're dating with purpose or you're not. You know what I mean? Like you can't half ass it anymore. Um, and if spirit is revealing to you people's intentions or, um, you know, the people that you're dealing with is they're getting caught up. It's only for the best of your interest so that you're aware. Um, so, again, usually when that happens, it's just spirit's way of pre uh, preparing you. Uh, for your lifetime partner. <coughs> All right, my lovelies. Okay. Now let's go to Aquarius. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. New love. How do they see Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? And future actions. Future actions towards Aquarius. All right. So there's been definitely a feeling of stuckness, a feeling of not being able to move forward. For some of you guys, it could have been even a feeling of like waiting for them to take some type of action. At this point, I feel like there is definitely going to get major momentum. And whatever may seem bleak right now from this connection, it's going to turn around really quickly for you guys. So for some of you guys, it could have been that they stopped communicating. For others of you, it could have been that they started to pull away. And you're in your head about it, like, what the hell happened? I thought things were going great. Uh, and they were. I just feel like this person needed to take a step back um, to kind of reconnect with themselves and to get a different perspective. And they're moving forward. So and they're moving forward in a very quickly way. So... Uh, like I said, if you've been feeling like things got stuck or they're not communicating or they're not opening up, that's definitely going to be changing for you guys in the next coming days as I do see them moving forward and the situation that may seem bleak right now is definitely turning around for the better. Sometimes that happens, you guys. Um, you know, sometimes you're dealing with someone and it feels like things are going really, really good. And then out of nowhere, it kind of slows down or they're not communicating or you're not communicating. Uh, and a lot of things are going on in your life. And it just seems like, you know, there is like a standstill where you're not really moving forward. Um, and sometimes we do need to check with ourselves. You know, sometimes we need to pull our energy back and just 
figure out, you know, are we ready? Uh, is this moving too quickly? If it is, are we, you know, emotionally ready? Are we disconnected from our exes or people from the past? And sometimes it's ne <coughs> sometimes it's necessary. Uh, sometimes we do need to. I'd rather, right? I'd rather a person pause and then realize, you know what? I'm all in than to waste my fucking time. So, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Now let's look into the old flame, old flame of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, old flame. How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? Why do they feel this way about Aquarius? Why do they feel this way? And future actions, future actions. I definitely see no momentum. I see no movement, no progress. Um, someone is definitely still holding on to some type of hurt. I feel like pride uh, is something that was hurt here in this situation. It could have been that you walked away, Aquarius, or it could have been that your person walked away from you and you took it way too personal uh, instead of really reflecting on what wasn't working. Uh, there's almost like this blaming type of, you know, blaming type of energy of why things didn't work out. Um, if you feel like things haven't progressed or haven't moved, uh, or you feel like, you know, your love, <coughs> your love and romantic, uh, sector hasn't really progressed or there's nothing exciting there. It has a lot to do with holding on to the past. So it's time to let go. Uh, if you feel like, the person that you were dealing with, um, you know, is still, still has strings over you. I would highly encourage you to do some type of cord cutting as this is going to help really release your energy and be able to move forward in a positive way and be more open, uh, to drawing in better opportunities or to start a new beginning. All right. Definitely close the door on this cycle. <clears throat> All right. Finally, but not least, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on with new love for Pisces. How do they see Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they see Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they feel? How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? <clears throat> Future actions. Future actions, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Future actions towards Pisces. <clears throat> All right. So off the bat, off the gate, Pisces, if you re recently started dating with uh, dating or dealing with someone that is very quick or that has love to bombed you or that you feel like it hasn't been more than seven months and you guys are already making like future plans and stuff like that. This is a major red flag because what they're telling you is be careful, tread lightly. Uh, the person that you're dealing with still is hurting or still is holding on to a person from the past that hurt them. They haven't fully recovered or they haven't fully healed from this connection and they are basically running off of fantasy. Uh, it's almost like I haven't moved on from my ex. Let me keep myself extremely busy uh, so that I don't think of them. But the reason for that is because they're still not willing or ready to embrace the ending that has happened. So you're dealing with the person that is carrying or dragging uh, ex's energy. This is the type of person that gets into a relationship when they're still talking or still reaching out to the ex, telling them they miss them, uh, that type of energy. So this is a major big red flag. Uh, like I said, uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with the person that, you know, sometimes does tell you or talks to you about an ex. It's because they clearly haven't moved on. Uh, so it's time to, you know, pay attention to those red flags because I feel like they're selling you a dream. They're selling you a beautiful dream and you're taking the bait. So be careful. I don't feel like this person is being authentic. 
All right, now let's look into the Old Flame for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Old Flame. How do they feel? <coughs> How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? How do they feel about Pisces? <clears throat> Why do they feel that way? Why do they feel that way? Why do they feel that way about Pisces? And future actions, future actions, future actions for Pisces. All right. So Pisces, they're an ex because there's a reason why they're an ex. Um, with the two of swords, you know, this is a person that is stubborn as fuck. This is a person that is not willing to take any type of self-responsibility. And this is a person that will continuously keep going on the path or continue doing the same behavior uh, as long as you allow it. So it's almost like what they're showing me here is this, obviously this connection, this relationship has come to a culmination. For some of you guys, you're still dealing with the ending. For others of you, maybe you're about to call it quits, but you're still unsure. You're still trying to hold on to this connection. What they're showing me here is it's clear that what they're communicating is stop fighting what's already been dead, what's already been done. Uh, it's kind of like stop beating a dead horse uh, type of thing. You can't sit there and hope that the person's going to change when all they continuously keep doing is letting you down and showing you that they continue on the same behavior. Why? Because they feel like they got away with it once or twice and they're going to continuously keep doing it until you learn to love yourself or until you learn um, to stand up for yourself, to stop allowing people to treat you a certain way when you and I both know you deserve better. Uh, for others of you, this is a habit. This is something that you continuously keep doing. It's like people cross your boundaries and you keep allowing that, um, not really vocalizing or speaking up or standing up for yourself. And what you're doing in essence is teaching others how you want to be treated. If I disrespect you one time and you let that shit fly, I'm going to do it again. You bet your ass I am. Why? Because you've already shown me that I'm able to. So you can sit there and threaten me all you want. But if I keep disrespecting you and you keep forgiving me or allowing that, I'm never going to learn my lesson. So what they're showing me here is, you know, you're dealing with the person that perhaps has a habit of coming back around or winning you back. And within that winning you back, it's because they don't think you have it in you to close the door on them. <coughs> Love yourself more. You deserve better than that, Pisces. All right, my lovelies. All right. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like I said, like, share, comment. And I want to wish you from my family to your family, I want to wish you guys all happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and until next time, we'll see each other soon. Until then, bye.